New at 10, Sky took paws and claws. The emergency animal rescue has stopped taking in animals for the rest of the year. They say they can't afford it until people adopt some of the dogs and cats they have. Fox 23's Catherine James is live in Sky Took after speaking with the shelter about the different ways people can help. That's right. Sarah and Rick, uh, they say that basically it's heartbreaking to have to turn away animals, especially, I mean, just look at these animals. I mean, they've got friendly faces. They're just very loving, you know, just wanting a companion here. And it's especially heartbreaking just knowing that some of the animals that they do have to turn away may end up being put to sleep, but not these dogs. These dogs are the lucky dogs. They've been saved by the shelter here. Whether you're looking for your new best friend or a cuddly companion, Skyatook Paws and Claws Emergency Animal Shelter likely has the dog or cat you're looking for. But there's a problem. The shelter has too many dogs and cats. Probably 100 or so requests today, and we will have to say no to all of them. Intake coordinator Amber Reidenauer says they've had to stop taking in new animals for the rest of the year or until their financial situation changes. Every single rescue is struggling. Um, they're struggling financially, uh, struggling with keeping up with your local animal controls and the strays, all that, that entails. And more importantly, most of them are struggling financially. Financially. She says part of the problem is that they seldom know the medical history of the animals they take in. You run into sicknesses or illnesses as simple as a, you know, a worm infestation that causes a couple hundred dollars, but a parvo case like the one we have today that will probably cost a couple thousand um, before the puppy is well enough to be adopted. Reidenauer says that takes a bite out of their overall budget, limiting the amount of dogs and cats they can afford to care for because their shelter saves pets who would have otherwise been euthanized. If if you have space for something, then your number one reason that you should adopt a shelter pet over purchasing a purebred animal is because something doesn't have to die. Reidenauer says aside from adopting, fostering a pet also helps by freeing up shelter space. When you foster a pet, the shelter still covers all the pet's food and medical expenses. She says they also need donations to help with their mission. Now we have all the ways that you can help out and donate in our web uh, story at fox23.com. Uh, and, you know, these guys are just waiting for a good home. Reporting live in Skytook, covering news that matters. Catherine James, Fox 23 News.